Hello, in this video, I'm gonna explain why you can't share your location on iPhone. The first reason is because maybe your location services are just disabled. So go to the settings, then go to um, the privacy and security, location services, and make sure that they are enabled. Um, it's it's worth uh, having that enabled and also there's share my location here and make sure that find my iPhone is enabled then you have some several things uh, it's gonna do find my iPhone if you enable that then your iPhone will show up in find my app so your location of the iPhone will be shared to Apple and it's useful because you can later once you lose your phone you can log into your iCloud account on a website and then lock locate your iPhone lock it or erase it mm. and um, yeah that's pretty useful then uh, find my network um, if you if you enable that, then your iPhone will still be able to be found even if it's online or in power reserve mode and after shutdown. So like your iPhone will be findable because other iPhones uh, or other Apple accessories in the environment will find its location by connecting to it even if the iPhone is offline itself and those Apple devices like from other people for example will um, be able to send that location and you can later track your iPhone that way and then send last location that is a feature that um, when your battery is critically low the iPhone will send the location automatically so you'll see the last location of the iPhone that was able to be tracked so it's also also I think useful uh, now also um, share my location needs to be enabled if you want to share your location via messages or find my service in the find my app so um, yeah that needs to be enabled then also uh, there's a chance that you may have a wrong Apple ID signed in or you are not signed into iCloud so you may need to go all the way up to the top of their screen see if you have an account logged in if you don't have it you'll see instead of your name you'll see you'll see just login button or sign in button and you should be signed into apple account in order to be able to do that then also if you don't have internet connection uh, like wi-fi or wi-fi or cellular then uh, the location won't send your um won't be sent unless you have that um other option that i've spoken about earlier where other iphones can track your iphone um, when they are close by um, but also that option about close by iphones doesn't always work properly because maybe the iphones are just too far maybe in the area where the iphone was lost uh, you know it just doesn't connect to all the iPhones in the environment so um, it may be a problem then um, app permissions may be denied if you're uh, trying to send your location through some third-party apps like WhatsApp Messenger or Google, Ma um, Google Maps you must give them the permission in settings uh, so also in settings you just need to go to uh, again to the privacy and security then location services and find what app you need to you want to allow a uh, location for let's say i want to enable location for my google maps well i don't have it here so let's go to the apps uh, then in settings in the main page of settings find apps then find the certain app that you want to allow uh, allow okay I don't even have Google Maps maybe that's why I couldn't do it so um yeah but I'm gonna just show you that on an example maybe if let's say I want to use this app to share my location with someone I need to go into that then find location here well here I don't have it but I will for sure have it here yeah 
and you'll see location and you can set it to never, ask next time or when I share, while using the app or always. And when it's set to always, then even if the app is closed, it will you will be able to send out locations. And, and it's useful because if you send it through WhatsApp and you actually send your live location, then the person will see where you are, even if you are out of the app, which is great. But uses more power, by the way. Uh, then um, you may have some restrictions or screen time limits. So if you share your location, if share your location is restricted in settings and screen time, if you go to that settings, then screen time, um, then there will be like content and privacy restrictions. And if you have those enabled, then location services are here changed. Then um, it will just restrict that. So you may want to click on don't allow changes for location services. Or actually, actually it's best to just disable the privacy restrictions because then you know it works properly. And you should be able to share your location now also. There's a chance that your date and time settings may be incorrect on your iPhone. So go to the general, then go to date and time and make sure that it's set automatically. And then it'll work. Mm, now the last thing is uh, maybe you'll find my iPhone is turned off. Uh, it's not like very often to see it being turned off but maybe you have turned it off but for some reason then you need to go to find my app this one then uh, find me and make sure that share my location here is enabled and yeah it should work now and i hope that this video was helpful uh, also, the last thing that you can do is restart the iPhone if it's not working by pressing and holding on power and volume up or volume down, just either of the volume buttons while pressing on the power button. And you'll see this um, slide to power off, just slide it, wait for half a minute and then press and hold on the power button until the iPhone turns off, it turns on then, right? And it may help you. So I hope that video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one.